Greetings from Bill Backen, Funzar at Mays Valley Farm Market and Winery. What you're looking at here is my father-in-law, Kay Vaughn, and mother-in-law, Donna Vaughn's front field at the home farm. This is a patch of winter rye. I mentioned in earlier blog posts there where we plant winter rye as a cover crop in the fall to uh, hold the soil in place, get some good root development and open up channels in the soil, and then also have as a green manure or cover crop in the springtime to plow down to add organic matter. We plow it down, as I mentioned, on the muck soils or the heavier soils out in the, uh, the low ground. But on the high ground, we tend to try and leave it a little bit longer, depending on the crop we're going to be putting in. I haven't checked with Kay here lately, but I'm kind of suspecting this might be our pumpkin patch, one of our pumpkin patches this year. Um, I'm not certain about that. We'll get back to you on it later. What I wanted to show was the difference in color right here. As you can see, as you look across here, we have a great division between the dark green and the yellowing away of the crop. And what I it has been done here is he sprayed a product called Roundup on here, or glyphosate. Uh, it's the same type of product that's available in your garden centers and hardware stores and things like that that you use to control weeds in your driveway and stuff. But here is where it really got its start is on the farm many years ago. And we still use it today. It's a great product to use for different crop production practices. In this tense, sense, it's conservation tillage, where we're going to not till this soil. So we're going to leave this soil covered. And what you do is you go along and you kill the cover crop with the herbicide and then that allows it to just kind of fall down and flatten over. Then we go in and no-till into this stubble. And there by doing so, we also improve weed control. So we'll go ahead and kill the weeds and the cover crop that we put out there from the previous fall, wait for it to die off, and then we'll just come in with the planter and plant right through this. What it does, it does a couple things. It holds the soil in place, more than a couple things. It allows us to make fewer trips over the field, thereby burning less fuel and using less of our equipment up and giving it a longer lifetime. And it also helps greatly in weed control because this soil's been in place since last fall, the top germination zone for weeds, the very top area. So by leaving it covered and not disturbing it or turning it up, we don't bring a whole bunch of new weed seeds to the surface. When we bring new weed seeds to the surface, the sunlight hits them, the moisture gets them, they germinate again. These already germinated here, some little ones you can see. We've already taken care of them, and it's less likely for more of them to come back up again. We'll go over with a, a light application of a pre-emergence herbicide that's uh, labeled for the pumpkins or whatever the crop is he chooses to pick in here, but it, we can use much less. And th that, that's the neat thing about it. And the, the rye helps hold the soil in place in the case of pumpkins, it creates a nice little bed for them to lay on and it makes them uh, a little more cleaner when we go to harvest them or pick them. It just makes for a cleaner, neater job. The trick is you have to have warm enough soils in the springtime, enough sunshine, so that as you're planting into this trash or this residue, as it can be called too, that you get good to seal soil to seed contact with your pumpkin seed or whatever you're planting, and it allows it to come up and do well, that this stuff doesn't basically get in the way of a young seedling plant trying to come up. So that's a little bit more about some of the conservation tillage practices or, or no-till work or, or just one of the many tools we use on the farm to get the job done. Once again, it's Farmer Bill, the fun czar at Mays Valley Farm Market and Winery saying thanks for stopping by.